The best love is the kind that awakens the soul and makes us reach for more, that plants a fire in our hearts and brings peace to our minds. And that's what you've given me, and that's what I hope to give you forever. Cacao es una planta uh, medicinal, que, como el nombre dice que es comida de los dioses, y trabaja mucho. Primero trabaja para limpiar al cuerpo. El segundo trabajo que hace es purifica tanto como al cuerpo y al espíritu. Y entra eh, en una armonización con la tierra. In a time where disconnection is present in our lives, cacao shows us another way. It reminds us how to open our hearts, how to connect to that state of unconditional love, embodying these experiences, beginning with a feeling, with a sensation. And as we activate these emotions, we can allow ourselves to offer it to each other. Cacao shows us how we connect to one another and to the earth, working with biodiversity, nature, and ourselves, guiding us to understand the interconnectivity between our well being and the well being of the planet. I grew up around some very aggressive people and that led me to view the world through what you would call the lens of anger i was just very angry and i don't know at some point right before we started this company i started meeting some really interesting people that were really good to me and that started changing things and cacao came into my life at that point where i i, I was leaning towards love and here comes this plant of cacao which is a heart opener and to, to me that that means that is bringing you to love and just kind of amplified that effect but cacao is at a crossroads and the actions that we take now will dictate what we leave for our children Due to extreme challenges the cacao industry and our farmers are facing in 2024, we decided to go visit our farmers and have a conversation to better understand what's really going on. Drastic changes in the weather patterns, the spread of pests throughout the farms, and working with human-manipulated clones like CCN51 have created extreme disruption in the cacao industry, while also endangering our beloved Arriba Nacional, which has been claimed to be one of the oldest strains consumed by humanity dating back over 5,300 years ago. My brother and I joined Jaime in visiting another farm that was dealing with infestation and loss of crop. Mira lo que pasa. Hay diferencia y eso el mal clima hace que caiga bonilla. Bien, nosotros como me enseñaban antes, aparentemente tan buena. Te pulsé aquí. Oh wow. Hay diferencia. Sí. Y aquí cuando el cacao no le da mantenimiento viene, se deja arriba y se va haciendo eh, la bonilla más grande y va contaminando el área. Y por eso es constante mm -hmm. mantenimiento. Esta es la bonilla. Y hay bastante aquí en esta finca que sí la puede mejorar con pequeño mantenimiento y por ¿Y eso es muy común? Eh, no tan común. En todas las fincas no, y a veces el clima te, te viene y, y hace hacer estas enfermedades que produzcan. Monocropping is best explained as planting and harvesting one single species instead of providing biodiversity on the land. This creates a chain reaction of challenges, including an increase of infestation. If the pest likes that particular crop, it has a large food supply to draw from all in one place. 
As a result, many farmers need more use of chemical treatments to minimize the struggles. Monocropping can also cause soil erosion through the increased runoffs from bare soil. This is a global issue that is affecting not just the cacao industry, but all forms of agriculture and our planet. The results of monoculture is a big influence of the rapid increase of climate change. Segundo Emilio García Tuare. Y así yo comencé a los 19 años a sembrar plantas. Yo desde que, desde que me empecé a, a sembrar cacao. Bueno, también sembramos café, sembramos el, el plátano, la papaya, todo lo que era beneficio para mí. Ya sembré, sembré esas plantas, en antes echaba el cacao era bastante. Los climas me están afectando. El cacao era desde el tronco hasta las ramas, las ramas colgadas de cacao. Sí. Y ahí fue bajando la producción, fue bajando. Me imagino que es el clima. La, la. Siempre a veces se los quema el cacao y vienen las heladas y se los quema. Y donde, donde los quedamos sin producción. Este año fue una de esas, cosa que hubo una helada y se, se quemó el cacao. Ahora en los últimos tiempos es más. Uh -huh. Porque yo cuando siembro cacao, yo toda mi vida ha sido así. No dejaba de sembrar el plátano o el guineo, porque ese plátano me entra. La planta me sube y ya me está manteniendo, me está dando para el trabajo y para el sustento diario. ¿Y sus hijos están también en...? No, la generación aquí, la juventud va migrando, migrando. Not all cacao is created and tended to equally. The industry needs to regulate the value of cacao strains and the quality of farming, harvesting, fermenting, roasting, and all the necessary steps to attain the perfect bean. We need to prioritize what we value putting in our bodies and the planet. In the industry today, heirloom strains and human-manipulated clones of cacao are being valued at the same price point. Would you consider a GMO cucumber the same as an organic cucumber grown in a farm free of pesticides and harmful chemicals? As globalization continues to evolve, many cacao farmers are left with no option but to move to these manipulated human clones like CCN51, leaving behind the ancestral strains like Arriba Nacional, potentially making them nearly extinct. There is a huge difference between the aroma, taste, and purpose within the ecosystem between these heirloom strains and these newly introduced strains. So how do we create this change? The ancestral waste might be the answer. Simplicity, biodiversity, working with heirloom strains, slowing down the overconsumption, and honoring what we value within and beyond cacao is crucial for this change. Biodiversity is just like the states. It's diversity of organisms, plants, animals, insects, and microorganisms that coexist within an ecosystem. They all support one another to thrive. Our consumption habits extend beyond the products that we buy. It encompasses the values that we prioritize, the companies that we support, and the systems that we perpetuate. We need to reevaluate how we navigate our daily lives, consider how we can align our spending with our personal values and a desire for a more sustainable future. Cacao está cambiando la conciencia a mucha gente, pero hay un grupo de personas que no están despertando, que ellos siguen destruyendo a la tierra, siguen destruyendo a, la, a los árboles y no se dan cuenta que cada árbol qué función tiene. Entonces, el cacao, lo que está trabajando desde el centro de la vida de nosotros, está despertando que relacionar con una planta o trabajar con una planta. Hay que trabajar desde ese sentimiento de amor que da el cacao, también paz, y que 
todo brilla, como todo es vida. Entonces desde ese espacio es lo que nosotros tenemos que ayudar a despertar a estas personas que no quieren despertar. Because underneath all of this is the real truth we have been avoiding. Climate change isn't an issue to add to the list of things to worry about, next to health care and taxes. It is a civilization wake-up call, a powerful message spoken in the language of fires, floods, droughts, and extinctions, telling us that we need an entirely new economic model and a new way of sharing this planet, telling us that we need to evolve.